Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you guys are amazing. I hope that you guys are renewed. Um, we have a lot of major changes that are happening and have been happening. So let's be positive and let's put out positive energy. Um, not just, you know, for ourselves, for our loved ones, but... Uh, in general for everyone. I think that that's very necessary and needed at this present time. All right, let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Now you have the three of wands. There is expansion. There's growth that's coming to you guys. Um, the obstacle to overcome for the month of October is the 10 of pentacles. So you may be having to deal with family issues. For some of you guys, um, it could also represent um, really thinking about investments or things that are progressively going uh, or growing, I should say, in regards to your finances. But you need to let go of the fear of expansion, uh, Aries. This is very important. You have to believe in yourself and take the initiative when opportunities present themselves. Now, in the past and passing, we have the Queen of Wands. So you may be dealing with the fire energy, um, Leo Sagittarius, or this could represent your energy as well, Aries. And the Queen of Wands is a very determined type of energy. Again, uh, believing in yourself and being confident. You also have the Temperance card here. So the Temperance card does represent time frames. So for some of you guys, it could be that you are just waiting. Um, for others of you, it could represent being patient in regards to growing some type of business or even looking into... Um, looking into investments and being very careful with that, which is very, very good. If you guys are looking uh, to get into investments or anything like that, make sure to do your research. Take your time. Don't make uh, decisions uh, rather quickly or rashly. Really analyze um, as well as what they're saying here is there is a momentum of renewed energy for you guys. Um, now, you do have the five of pentacles, and this is what's currently on your mind. So it could represent the fear, um, the fear of instability or the fear of, you know, financial gain. Um, so for some of you guys, this could represent um, having the fear perhaps at some point in your life. Uh, you're very restricted when it comes to finances. And as things have progressed for you, there is still a constant fear of having or getting to the point of having lack of financial stability. Uh, this could be uh, our ideas or our ideals, what you thought you should have been or in what place in your life you felt like you should be by now. And perhaps things didn't go that way. So there is fear there. Um, what they're saying here is you got to let go of that. The more we put our energy, um, whether it be through fears or, you know, aspirations that you have, um, that's what you're bringing. Even if, as an example, you could be f doing financially well, but if you're constantly thinking of the fear of losing that financial stability or, uh, constantly fearing, um, and this could be for some of you guys, this can also represent relationships where you feel like you're protecting yourself by not opening yourself up. And the reason for that is because there's major fear of abandonment or there's major fear of being left behind. Uh, what they're saying is the more you focus on that and fear is a very powerful energy. Uh, because it is very connected to your emotions. So the more you fear something or the more you think about those fears, you're amplifying that energy. Therefore, it will unfold. So you got to let go of those fears or overcome them. And the way to overcome is to put, um, to open yourself up or to put um, more positive thinking in your everyday life. Now you do have new beginnings. You have the full card. This is what's coming to you unexpectedly. So there is new beginnings. There's new promise. For some of you guys, it could be almost an opportunity of love that's coming or presenting itself to you. But it is genuine and authentic as we do uh, the rose. The white rose is standing out very strongly for me. Um, so it could represent a new opportunity in regards to making more finances. But this can also represent a new opportunity 
in regards to love and romance. Now you have the Ace of Swords and this is the advice card. So pay attention to the ideas that start blooming or coming about in your mind, Aries, because these are fundamentally, as an example, if what you're wanting is to start a new business or to make money on the side um, or, or more avenues, open up more avenues for, you know, abundance and for uh, wealth or money to come in. Um, the Ace of Swords represents ideas, and these are ideas that are very fruitful, but you have to take action. So again, pay attention to that because I do see you guys being, um, and again, for some of you guys, this could be like uh, looking into investments. This could be about wanting to start your own business. This could be about uh, having the desire to create other avenues of making money. So again, the Ace of Swords, this is a new way of thinking. And this can also be very fruitful, as you guys can see here with the Ace. There is um, leaves blooming from the crown, which represents your mind. So again, very fruitful ideas. Now, you do have here the energies currently influencing you or people around you is the Ten of Swords. So there is an ending cycle for some of you guys. For some, it could represent the ending cycle of understanding how important it is to maintain yourself positive and optimistic. For others of you, it could represent having or making a rational decision to end some type of toxic behavior, whether it's, you know, being very negative or being very self-negative to yourself. Um, for others, it could be just the defiance of, I'm not going to allow other people that are extremely negative or that bring very negative energy, bring their energy to affect me, to bring my energy down. Um, I do see you guys making transformations. For some of you guys, it could be um, wanting to take care of yourself, be more physically active. For others of you, it could be starting a diet, taking care of yourself um, because we do have the temperance. So again, uh, quit smoking, quit drinking, that type of energy with the 10 of swords. Now it's what you're wanting um, is to have clarity or to have control and power over your life, Aries. For the month of October, it's gonna be very important to balance your desires and when i say desires this could represent like uh, as an example temperament could be something that you need to learn to balance to be more clear-headed to make decisions with a cold head i'm not sure if you guys have heard that um but what that represents is don't make decisions out of the whim make decisions that you've analyzed and that you've really taken the time to think about um, and this is very close to that of either finding new ways to bring money to you or starting a business or investing. Like I see you guys looking around trying to put your money somewhere, like making the money work for you. But again, with the Queen of Swords, you have to be um, you have to be very really do your research, know exactly where you're making those investments or if you're starting a business. Um, focus primarily on that which is making you already money before expanding to different different things that you may want to sell as an example and you want to buy a bunch of a lot of product that you haven't really tested and trialed so what they're telling you is be more methodical in making those decisions and finally you have the four of swords so the four of swords could represent having the need uh, to rest or to take care of yourself. It could be the reason why they're saying for some of you guys there is changes that are coming, changes in the sense of uh, your diet, of your physical activity. For others of you, it could represent implementing a new form of life. For some of you guys, it could be meditation, it could be visualization, anything of that source that is going to help you balance yourself and be grounded. So very beautiful reading, Aries. I hope you guys enjoy. I wish you guys the very best for October, and I wish you guys happy Hallow's Eve.